Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay. Big shout out to the loyal sub, George Jackson, for this one here. And we're going to talk about a sister by the name of Taylor Casey. She's 41 years of age. She's from Chicago. And her sister, Taylor, she's a community activist. She's a yoga practitioner. Um, it's very obvious that she loves yoga. She wants to be great at it. It's one of her passions. So what she did was she decided to take her yoga game to the next level. And she went to a yoga retreat in the Bahamas in the month of June. This yoga retreat that she went to is called the Siva Nanda Ashram Yoga Retreat. I guess this is like top of the line stuff right here for people in the yoga game. You know, it's located in Paradise Island in Nassau, Bahamas. And when she went out there, the sister Teller was last seen on Wednesday, June 19th. After that, that was it. That's when she was last seen. Now, the Royal Bahamas Police... Uh, they issued a missing persons uh, poster on her on Thursday, June 21st, to let the public know about Taylor's disappearance. Um, so people, the sister from Chicago, black woman, she goes to this nice place where it looks like you should be relaxing at, and she goes missing. I believe they found her phone in water, and that's it. They're still looking for Taylor Casey. Hopefully they find her. And her family said that this is uncharacteristic of her to just wander off somewhere. They said that she would not just go wander off and disappear. And I, I have to believe her family. When you know your people, you know your people. You know what I'm saying? They were communicating with her while she was there. She was sending pictures and videos and things like that. Everything was great. So they have set up something for her to get donations for anybody who wants to donate. Because they're trying to get her family out there boots on the ground looking for her. It's nothing like your people who are out looking for you because I've done videos in the past before where people responded pretty fast and their peoples came out there, boots on the ground, and found them and saved them. This is going to be difficult because it's a totally different other country. Um, I will put this link in the pinned comment for anybody who may want to donate to this sister, to her people, so they can go out there and try to find her. Hopefully this video will be out you know, so let's just hope that they can find this sister. Time is of the essence with missing people. You know what I mean? So let's get into it, people. This is my idea. Uh, many people won't agree. This is my opinion on this. I feel as though. I don't believe that women should be traveling to another country alone, especially for a stretch of time to be around some people that she does not know. I believe that a woman needs to travel with a man or a small group of women who don't use drugs, who don't get drunk, who are assertive, preferably family members who really care about them. Okay. There's no BS for things. Uh, you know, it, it, it's no BS. You can't be BSing around when it's time to travel people. Uh, it could turn a great trip into a nightmare or a tragedy. It's important to go to the right places with the right people. And as you can see, this place that Taylor went to, it looks really nice. I mean, this is top of the line vacation property in Bahamas. Uh, the yoga retreat was supposed to be all that. They have, you know, real programs for people who are into yoga. It costs thousands of dollars to attend this retreat. I guess this is some top of the line stuff. And if you look at it, it looks like a place where you can go. You're supposed to chill out and just kick back. But the problem here is people... Taylor's a black woman, and this is a white retreat, and it's yoga. Um, you don't know what these people are into when you're not in your country. I'm not saying that black people can't go to yoga with white people in, you know, at all. I'm not saying that some people will agree that they shouldn't. But what I'm saying is I like to be realistic, and, but, but still keep it real. Uh, try to do it in your own backyard where you're familiar with things. Maybe it's at a fitness center. Maybe it's at a yoga club where you frequent and you know what's going on. You know the owner. You know the people there. It's not a situation where you just could disappear like that. You know what I mean? Like in another country, 
like Bahamas where we can't find Taylor now. Uh, you never know. These people at this place where Taylor went, they were acting kind of shady, you know. They were acting kind of shady. Now, who knows? I, I don't know why. I don't know why. They didn't want to put any information out about her being missing when it happened when they knew about it. This is stuff that people can see. When she went missing, this these yoga people at this yoga retreat where she went, they didn't put any information out. They didn't let people know. And it probably was because they didn't want to mess up their bag. You know, they didn't tell their attendees like, hey, one of our people just vanished. Pay attention. They didn't tell prospective people who are coming. One of our people vanished. Actually, a guy went out there and went to this retreat. And he's like, yo, why ain't you all saying nothing about this missing woman right here? This is facts. I just didn't want to put him in this video. I didn't have time. But they know that many people will probably be asking for a refund if they say, hey, well, a woman came out here from Chicago and uh, she attended this retreat and now she's just missing. A lot of people want to ask for their money back. If they're in the process of going, they're canceling that. So I would think that people who claim to be trying to reach certain levels of spirituality and peace and all this other good stuff and involved in yoga, they would be a humanitarian first and say, well, look, we got to find this woman. We don't want this to happen again. Let's put this information out there. She came here to train with us, uh, to practice with us. She trusted us. She paid us her hard earned money. We can at least do what we have to do to make sure that we try to find her and that other people are warned about this. No, not at all. Why? Because these are greedy white supremacists at the Siva Nanda Ashram Yoga Retreat. These are white supremacists here, people. Most white people go there. They All they care about is money. And money trumps. Money takes superiority over this old spirituality, reaching a higher level, you know, type thing. that they, They're lying, yo, when it comes to that. Okay? And in my opinion, in my opinion, the people at this retreat here, this Siva Nanda Ashram Yoga, they're suspect number one. In my mind, as far as what happened to Taylor, I'm starting with them. Just like how it was natural for if something happens to a woman, her husband becomes suspect number one. Same here. I need to dig into y'all. What happened? We need to, we need to go ahead and clean this whole place down. We're going to you all first. What's up? Because you know where she sleeps at. You know what time she's here, what time she's off. You are the people we're coming here first. Okay, we got to figure out what's up. Now, people, I hope that she just went off somewhere and got lost and she'll be coming back. You know, that doesn't look good. But, let's, you know, hopefully her family can get out there and do some things. Now, here's my thing with these uh, yoga white folks. You know what I mean? Here's my thing with them. Anything that they get into is going to turn sour in some kind of way. Listen, for us, it's going to turn sour. If somebody wants to do yoga and all that, they want to learn it, that's all good. But you got to keep it local. You got to really pay attention. You know, I don't think it's good to go to a a white retreat in another country. You know, if it's at home in your backyard where you could, you know, call your peoples up real quick, run down the street or whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Like in the same state, maybe county, whatever. But in another country with these white people, I don't agree with it for a black person. OK, and you got to understand that these yoga white folks ain't as nice and wholesome as they claim to be. They're not. I remember there was a story recently. I was I was into this story, too. I had watched like a documentary or some stuff like that about it, about an Asian girl from California named Nancy Ang. You could check her out. She went to a yoga retreat in Guatemala with white people from California, a group. She actually went there with this group before, you know, her group of people from California, white people. They went to this retreat. This was her second time, and, and, and she disappeared, vanished. She just vanished. Her whole white group that was out there with her, they bounced. They got on the plane and left, y'all. Left her there. Yo, anybody knows that if we go somewhere with our peoples and they missing, we ain't leaving till something is found. We ain't leaving. They just got on the plane and left, y'all. You know, so some lady came up who was a witness. You know, she came with the group that was there from California. She's like a public defender or something. She's lawyered up. She claimed to be a witness. And she said that this Nancy Ang, she drowned in all this other stuff. But this lady was lawyered up. 
it, it just looking, it's, it's not really looking right. These yoga people are not so good people. You ever hear about this dude, Bikram Yoga or whatever? Bikram Yoga dude, big time yoga guy came up with this form of yoga called hot yoga or Bikram Yoga. This dude's a sex deviant. This dude's a weirdo. Okay? He, in, he invented his own version of yoga called hot yoga or Bikram Yoga. I don't know if he's the originator of it. Maybe it came from somewhere else first. You know, I'm not sure. But he became the big guy in it, but he's all cased up. Seven women filed a civil lawsuit against him for sex assault, harassment, hostile work environment, wrongful termination, and the R word. So you could, I mean, look at this dude. He looks like the type that would try to create some form of yoga to where he could walk around with his drawers on and stuff like that. I mean, just the fact that he, he rocking them type of drawers, that's a red flag for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, why you wearing them? Like, why? I know it's hot yoga and everything, but why you got to have that on? You know, I feel as though that's inappropriate. Even when I go to pools, I see guys, if you ain't Michael Phelps and you ain't trying out for the Olympic team or whatever, or you ain't on a high school swim team trying to make it, you don't need to be rocking them. Even them, when they, as soon as they get out the water, they put a towel on or they put, a um, you know, some bigger shorts on. You shouldn't be walking around with them shorts. And just them alone, this Bikram yoga dude, I would have peeped him at like, nah, something wrong with him because he's trying to come up with a whole form of yoga where he could rock them little jaws like that. You know, these dudes are weird, man. Predators out there, you know. But I don't know if these people were predators out here where Taylor Casey went. I don't know, but I don't put anything past these people. And I know yoga is not all what people think it is. Sometimes, you know, these people are suspect number one. They're suspect number one in an entirely different country at that resort she went to. You know, because who knows what they into? These They could be in with some big time people in the government over there. You don't know, man. You don't know who owns this. This could be a Bernstein bear who owns this resort and his people could have connections and own like a mountain over there in bah Bahamas or part of the ocean. You never know what these people into, man. Going to a whole nother country, man. But you got to watch these yoga people. They are not exempt. They are not as peaceful as they came to, uh, uh, claim to be. And a lot of white supremacists and Satanists love getting involved in yoga because it doesn't hold them accountable for anything. You know, it doesn't hold. Them. It, it, they just sit back and say, I'm, I'm living free. You know what I mean? It's hard to call some of these people hypocrites. Now, I'm not talking about everybody who's if you're in the yoga. I'm not talking about you. If you like yoga, it might be good for you. The stretching and all that is not for me. But I've met a lot of people who are involved in yoga. I actually, um, I used to do, I used to have a boot camp that I used to have. I used to host a boot camp in D.C. For people who, from D.C., you know Meridian Hill Park. Malcolm X Park, as it's called, for people from D.C., Meridian Hill Park. You know what I'm talking about. Not far over there by Adams Morgan. I used to do a, I used to have a boot camp over there in that park. Yeah, people used to come to my boot camp, my fitness boot camp. And I had linked up with another dude, a white dude who had, had another company. And we used to do the boot camp over there. But he kind of was more into yoga. So I just started doing it myself. He's a yoga type dude. Right. And he used to, you know. Say, yo, you could come to the yoga spot, whatever. You know, we're having a yoga event. You should come. And I'm like, what is it? And he was like, yeah, it's a male. It's an all men's yoga event. He showed me this flyer. He was called. He was like, it's called Detox and Retox. So that was the name of the event on his flyer. He showed me. He was like, Detox and Retox. I'm like, what's that all about? He was like, yeah, we go in and we do we detox with hot yoga and then we retox with beer. I'm like, huh? That's what he said. He said, we detox doing hot yoga, and then we retox with beer. It's called detox and retox. It's for the men. And I was like, man, so what's up with this dude right here who hosting it? He was like, yeah, that guy's gay. So I was like, man, listen, man, I don't drink beer, man. I said, yo, I don't drink beer. Y'all not getting me in one of these yoga places. Talking about close your eyes, got my legs all folded up. I'm not getting in them position. I'm not doing that, man. The room be too hot. You know, I'm in there with my legs folded up. Embarrassing, man. I'd be embarrassed with myself if I ever did that to myself, man. That would make me depressed. I, I can't do that, yo. I'm not into it. You know, these places, they got candles. 
And people, listen, if you love yoga and you like it, do it. I know plenty of normal people that love yoga, but I know plenty of weirdos and Satanists who are into it too, man. When you go in these places, man, they telling you to close your eyes and all that and hum and all. You have no idea sometimes what you're saying. You got to find out if they telling you to say something. You may be calling on the jinns, I would be like. You may, you could be calling the jinns or, or the evil spirits as people, you know what I'm saying? You in there with your legs all folded up and it's somebody with an eyeball in the middle of their head and all that with can, candles and you, you saying stuff where you need to learn the language to know what you are saying. You know what I mean? Because you could be calling on gens and things like that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. But it's not for people who are in the yoga. I know a lot of people yoga, do yoga because it's good and it's healthy, man. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, yo, listen. I don't think that our people should be going to yoga retreats in other countries where there are white people. I know we got to keep it all the way 100 we're going to go to yoga places where there are white people if you're in yoga because they dominate, they reign supreme in, in, in the whole yoga game. But you have to pay attention. These people are not as peaceful as they make themselves out to be. Look what they did with that girl, Nancy Ng. They left her there straight up from California. Her, her crew. Look at this dude, Bikram. Is, is the fact that this dude is walking around with these on. You know what I'm saying? With them kind of draws on. And look at the charges that he done flee to California and all that. This stuff is real. So these predators are everywhere, man. And I don't need to be hearing nobody saying, well, if you ain't looking at them, they don't mean. Well, listen, man, why he got what's the point of wearing them, man? That's what I'll ask anybody. What's the point of a dude walking around with them kind of drawers on? You know what I'm saying? You need to, you know, put something on top of that. You know what I mean? But anyway. You got to really pay attention. Now, I, I do hope for the safe return of this sister, Taylor Casey. I really hope they can find her, man. People, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. And again, I'm going to put that link in the pinned comment for anybody who may want to contribute to her family trying to get boots on the ground out there so that they can find her. You know, this country or whatever, this resort, they should, they should be paying to keep her family up the whole time. That's what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? They got millions of dollars out there. But anyway, people, easy.